Hey everybody, this video is going to go over how to create an APA reference entry for an article you found on Science Direct. So be sure to like and subscribe below to keep these videos coming. And we're going to start off on APA Styles website for the basic principles of reference entries. So there are four elements in an APA reference entry, author, date, title, and source. And we use periods to mark the end of each of those. Um, except for the source if you've got a link. That's a little different. So beginning with the author. So APA um, does its authors as last name, comma, and then initials. So if you just had a first name or first initial, you would do that in a period. If you have a first name and a middle name or a middle initial, you would use both with a period uh, or with a space between them. And all the authors are listed that way, last name and then comma and initials. After the last author, be sure there's a period there, and then you would move on to the date. Now, journal articles only use years. Um, other types of sources, you would need more expanded dates, but journals only need the year. You put that in parentheses, and then you put a period after that, after the closing parentheses, to note the end of the date element. Then you move on to the title. So APA uses sentence casing, which means the first word of a title is capitalized. Any proper noun, so names of people and places, get capital letters. Also, you would capitalize the first word after a colon, question mark, exclamation mark, or period inside the title. None of the other words get capital letters. At the end of the title element, you put a period and you move on to the source element. Source element is basically how do I as a reader or an instructor find your source? So for journal articles, that would be your journal title, volume number, issue number, page numbers, and then a DOI if it is given, and if there's no DOI, you would use a URL instead. So let's look at an example for an article I found on ScienceDirect. One of the things I like about ScienceDirect is that all of the information you need to build a reference entry is right here when you're looking at the article. So of course you can see your title. Right below it, you can find your authors and your DOI. Right above the title, you can find the journal, that's the very top one earth. Then you can find your volume, your volume numbers, issue numbers, dates, and pages. And that's all of the elements that you need to build that reference entry. So for this one, you would begin with the authors. So the first, you would use the author's last name, Zatara, comma, and then you would use the first initial and middle initial. And then you would do the second author the same way. And we would use the ambersand, so shift seven, in between those authors. We don't spell out and like you did in APA or in MLA. After the authors is the date. Now for a journal article, we only need the year. So you would put 2021 in parentheses and then a period after that. After the date element is the title. This title is capitalized correctly for APA. So you could just copy and paste that into your entry, put a period after richness. Then you would move on to the source um, information. So you would begin with the journal title. So the journal title is One Earth, that is capitalized and in italics. You would put a comma and then the number four. We don't use VOL period or V period or anything like that. It's just the number four. The number four, however, is also in italics. But immediately after the four, you put the issue number in parentheses. So you do parentheses with one in the middle but there's not a space between those. They're like mushed together. And then four is in italics, but the parentheses with one is not. It's a little weird. Then you would put a comma and the page numbers and you would just put 114-123 comma. We do not use P period or P period, PP period or PG, none of that. Just the numbers themselves and a comma. Then you would copy and paste that DOI. And we do not put a period at the end of links for APA like you would in MLA because APA says, no, we want to make sure that your link is live and functional. And if you add any punctuation at the end of it, it might impact the functionality of the link. So we don't do that. So if you wanted to see what it would look like to use as a model for building your own, this is what it would look like. So you would have the last name, comma, E period, space. E period. So that's the first initial and middle initial. And you do use a space between them because it stands for two different names, first name and middle name. Then the ambersand and then your second author's last name, comma, first initial period space, second initial period. Then your date. So we only need the year here at 2021 in parentheses. Period goes after that. The title with a period at the end, noting that only the first word here is capitalized. The title of the journal, comma, 
and the volume number in italics, no space, parentheses with the issue number, comma, page numbers, comma, and the DOI. And again, we do not put a period at the end of the DOI because that might impact its ability to be a live functional link. So that's what you can use as a model for building your own reference entry. And I hope that this helps and good luck on your project and have a great day.